Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using MySQL Workbench to import a um, CSV file into uh, a table in MySQL. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a MySQL connection. And we're going to create a MySQL connection to uh, RAMP server. So I'll just click on um, Connections, Add Connections, and I'll give it a name and I'll call it uh, Demo WAMP. And it's on localhost and it's on port 3308. And I can confirm that by just um, checking my WAMP server here and my SQL. And you can see here it's running on port 3308. And I'm going to use a username of root with no password. And I'm going to hit OK. So now I'm going to, I'm going to use that connection. So I'm going to connect in here. And you can see here I'm connected into... Um, into this database. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, create a, I've got an existing query here, but I'm just going to um, create a new query. So I'll go um, in my SQL query and I'm going to say use, um, oh, actually no, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll create database. And I'll call it um, demo three, uh, three underscore db. And I'll run that query. And you can see here it's successfully created the database. So if I right click in here and I refresh all, you can see here I've got demo three db, which has no tables. So the next thing I need to do is I need to um, Create a, table, create a table and I have a query to do that. So what I'll do is I'll actually I might file open SQL script and I'll just go into here and I'll just open this one and I'm going to use this query to create a table called customers. Now I'm using I'm calling well, database demo 3db so I'm going to use demo 3db and I'm going to create a table of customers. And first of all, customer ID um, will be an integer. It's the primary key and it's also not null. Now, the other, the other data I need, what I've done is I, I need to look at the um, look at the CSV file that um, the CSV data, which I've got, got here. And if I look at the CSV data, I've got customer ID, first name, last name, street address, city, state, postcode, balance, and credit limit. And you can see here that first name's fairly short, the last names are fairly short. The address, street address could be shorter or longer. City, fairly short. Um, post, uh, state, postcode. But notice here that in the um, balance, I've got, um, I've got some images, but I've also got a float. So I need to take care of that. And then I've got a credit limit and it looks like all of my credit limits are all numeric. So what I've done is I've said first name, hang on, if I look at my first name here, Barchar, and I've allocated 30, 30 characters. Last name, I've allocated 30 characters. Street address, I've allocated 50 just to be on the safe side. Um, city, Barchar 30. State, you don't need many. So I've just done varchar 10. Postcode, I've done varchar 6. Probably only needs to be 4. And balance, I've made a double because of that, um, because of that um, um, floating point value there. And credit limit, I've made an integer. So what I'll do is I'll run this query. And you can see here I've successfully created my table. So now what I want to do is I want to, and I'll just do a refresh here. And you can see here I've got um, my customers table and I've got my columns. Customer ID, first name, last name is all in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the import wizard to import the CSV file. So I'm going to right click customers and I'm going to go to table data import wizard. And I'm going to browse to the CSV file here. So you can see here I've browsed to the CSV file and I've I've found it. I can hit browse if I want it, but it's remembered from a previous go at this where the CSV file is located. So I'll hit next. 
And I'll just use the existing table, Demo3DB Customers. And don't want to create a new table because I'll use the existing table. Hit Next. And here it's showing me what it's going to look like. And it's happy with the columns. And it looks like it's happy with the data. So I'll hit Next. And Next again. And one more Next. And it's told me that 40 records have been imported, so I reckon it's done. So now if I um, now if I run a new query here, and I'll say use demo three underscore db, and select star from customers. And I'll run this query. Ah. Customers, yep. And run this query. And you can see here it's imported that data. So this is the data, the CSV data that um, has been imported. So the first record, if I go back to the first record, Fred Bear, and certainly. That's what I've got here, Fred Bear, Jill Smith, Joseph Jones. So I've successfully managed to import that data into my MySQL database from um, by using MySQL Workbench from a CSV file.